a Syntec battery charger. It's the 2 amp, 10 amp, 50 amp model. The 10 amp is a quick charge. When the battery needs charge, you put on the charge for the 10 amp quick charge and you let that top off. While it's charging, it'll be red. When it's finished charging, it'll turn green. Here, I'll demonstrate that. So, 10 amp, 10 amp quick charge. The charger tried to charge the battery, realized it was fully charged, and stopped. So, after that, you put it on 2 amp trickle charge and you just let it run. Sometimes this will take overnight, sometimes it'll take longer. This has a setting for AGM, absorbed glass mat, and it has regular lead acid batteries. I happen to be charging a, a AGM battery right now. AGM battery technology is normally used in UPS's and mobility scooters. They could be used in others, that's what I'm familiar with. Your vehicle will normally use a normal lead acid battery, that would be the regular setting. These types of batteries for a UPS and a mobility scooter are different than your car because your car very seldom goes completely dead. As you drain the battery to start the car, once the car started, the car charges the battery. So unless there's something wrong with your system, it typically will stay charged all the time. So the battery never goes dead. There's a process called deep cycle. Deep cycle is the process of using a battery until it's almost completely dead. Your car battery never does that unless you have a problem with the car. A scooter battery and a UPS battery, on the other hand, will run a battery completely dead. So the AGM, the absorbed glass mat, seems to handle those deep cycles a lot better. It still damages the battery. You should never completely discharge a battery. It will shorten its life dramatically. So, we did the 10 amp quick charge. We're doing the 2 amp trickle charge. When this is completed, that'll finish the charging the battery and you can take it out to use. 50 amp setting is deceiving. In reality, you should expect to get no more than 20 amp out of these uh, the 50 amp setting. Not sure why they put 50 amp on there and then build it so it won't do 50 but they have a shorter uh, battery charger that looks a lot like this one that doesn't have the 50 amp but it has 2 and 8 so I went ahead and bought the bigger one that has 2 and 10 and everybody calls this a battery charger it says battery charger, maintainer, and emergency engine starter for all 12 volt lead acid batteries the emergency engine start is a crock 20 amps probably won't start your car. And it gives you this warning right on top. Clamps unpowered until connected to battery. We already went over that, but I thought I'd show you the label. So this is a very good battery charger. I have seen the exact same battery charger with a different name right here at uh, Tractor Supply. I got this one for $29.99 with a coupon at Harbor Freight. The one at Tractor Supply was $59.99, so $30 cheaper, but it's the same battery charger. Obviously, they're both buying them from China from the same manufacturer and putting their own label on it. So if you have lead-acid batteries and you need to charge them, this is nice to have around. It's not something a normal person would use every day, but when you need one, you need one. $30 bucks is not too much to spend to have one around to use. Really impressed with this. Really impressed with the 2 amp and 10 amp settings, and they work how they're supposed to. The 50 amp is just a joke. The only real issue I've had with this charger is if a battery is dead enough to not register any voltage, this will not charge it. When the clamps are unpowered, they're unpowered until they sense voltage from the battery, and then it starts charging. If the battery is dead enough not to offer power to the charger, then the charger won't charge it. That's probably a sign your battery is beyond hope. I find it odd that it won't charge it, but that's part of the safety mechanism built into the charger. The charger isn't malfunctioning. It isn't having a problem. That's how it's designed. I highly recommend this 
if you want to charge batteries, this is a very good solution. Thanks for watching.